What's up guys, how you doing? If you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Flip Scrubber. Um, welcome, the subscribe button, it's right down there. If it's red, the site wrong. Today we're talking about suction cups for the GoPro Hero 9, um, but they will basically fit on any other GoPro. Um, they are quite small, so they are for small um, action cams, but all of them are pretty tough. First things first, get yourself some stainless steel um, lanyards. They look like this. Um, they have a loop on one end and a loop on the other end, so you can basically tie it to your suction cup, your camera, and keep it really so safe and tie it to something else like inside the car. Um, so if it does fall off, you save your GoPro or whatever camera you have on there. Um, a 90 degree adapter comes in handy for some of these, and um, obviously a you know set screw, thumb screw, whatever they call them. First one we're going to start with is the Joby. Um, there is a version of this with like a hard mount, but I've had two of those and they've both cracked, so they're just shit. Um, this works <laughs> in the way that you stick it down, twist this, and it's it's stuck on there. But the problem is, is if you're driving and it's really bumpy, um, that is going to happen. It's just going to it's going to it's going to be floppy. Um, it's a gorilla pod, you know. It's it's not made for that. And this suction cup isn't all. It should be. Um, but it comes at $23, $20, so it's the cheapest one. Next one is from Delkin. It's called the Mini. Um, you basically put it down. Make sure all your surfaces are clean, dry, and, you know, just perfect before you stick this on so everything's safe. Stick this guy down, push in, flip up, and it is on there. You have a um, little flap pull on the back here to undo it, and you have a little screw here so you can change what it's like, the angle, and here you have another one so you can actually change the ball head. This all turns around, so that is really cool. It's it's actually really solid. This comes in at 2770, so it's a really, really good one. It's actually one of my favorite ones. Um, you just feel like you're safe with it, you know? You're safe. Um, for one of these, you'd probably need a quarter 20 um, adapter, so you just screw it on there because it doesn't come with that. Um, and you can stick on your GoPro, and it's really that simple. Next one isn't actually a suction cup, but it is one of my favorite, and it's really quick. It's um, by Magwheels, and it's a magnet. It's ridiculously strong. You might have seen it in my films before, and it comes in at $29.99, and it is, I mean, the magnet is just, you stick it on a car, you've got no worries at all. It's, um, it's very, very strong. After that is the Sublime War, which comes in at $29.99. Same deal, push in the middle snap it down and it is on there also has a um, little flap you pick it up by and the same deal as with the Delkin you can kind of flip it. it's got little alligator teeth so you kind of clip it in and the same with the top here and it basically comes already with a GoPro or action camera whatever you want to call these mounts and by the way this is a fake version of this so they're identical they are basically identical from every single way you look at them, up to the rivets, everything, um, except that this one says Sublime Wear and this one says GoPro. Um, I did use this a lot in Vegas um, and it worked really well. But like I said, this one is $29.99, this one's $39, the original one. So if I had to go for one, I would go with the original one. Um, works exactly the same way. Flip it down, flip it, and you're on there. Um, by the way, I haven't had any problems with any of these. This is my favorite one. It's by PGY Tech. Um, it's just really simple to use. You put it down, oh, put it on there, and it is stuck on really tight. Um, it's got the same kind of deal. It's got a little flap here. This is just, it's really nice. This um, kind of magic arm thing um, works really well, but it comes with a kind of a weird thing. One, it comes with a attachment, so you can put on a quarter 20, which is really cool. But this thing, this is not your everyday um, screw. It's like it kind of goes in, twists, and it kind of flips down, and it's tight. It works really well, you get two of them, but if you lose both of them, you're screwed, basically. Um, now, <laughs> for the big boy, if you really, really want to be safe, and you, you just want to be badass, you're going to go for this. This is the Manfrotto. 241 FB, it's called. Um, on top we have the um, 496 RC2. 
This costs a hundred dollars. This costs a hundred dollars. So you're putting out two hundred dollars. Um, you will have a ball head um, or basically whatever you want to stick on the top because this guy comes with a um, three eighths right there. Um, this is a solid piece of kit. You pump it until the red line goes in and it's stuck on there like just it's 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 ridiculous. Um, you have to check it every every while to make sure that the red line has not come out. Um, but this is basically the suction cup of suction cups. Um, it's yeah, it's 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 a real little monster. Anyway, I'm going to show you what they look like on the car. Um, let's let's go and check that out now. Right, guys, I'm here, and um, let's start with the first one, which is the Joby one. You stick it on, get it on there nice and tight, twist it, and it's on there pretty tight, and it should stay. Um, next one, like I said, is this one, which will obviously not stick to a window, but if you stick it to your car, you're going to have a really, really hard time getting it off there, so it is really fantastic. You just stick it on, and this thing is stuck on really tight. Next one is the Delkin. You slap it on. Remember, push this down, pump this up, and you should be on there really nice and tight. Um, like I said, this is no doubt one of my favorite ones. You can just twist it around, use the ball head, and get some really, really nice angles. Um, use the little flap to get it off. Um, so the GoPro and the, um, let's get this, press it in. There we go. And this one, press and lock. So, as you can see, they're pretty similar. Um, I would still spend the extra 10 bucks on the um, GoPro one, just because, you know, just, just to feel safe. Like I said, my favorite one, um, the PGY Tech. Get it on there. Um, remember, the surface is nice and clean. I just polish this window. <clears throat> you put it down and this guy is basically on there. And that little tiny mini magic arm is really cool um, for just, you know, I mean, you can literally just, you know, open. It's, it's a fantastic little one. <laughs> and like I said, if you're going crazy, and you want this big boy, you slap this guy on and you literally just pump him in until there's no red dot. And this, you can just, uh, I can pull this whole window out just with this, it's insane. But like I said, you gotta make sure that the little red dot is in because if it's out, then it might go wrong. So you just gotta make sure that it's pumped all the time. Um, and you know, it's, that's basically what it looks like. These guys are all fantastic. Um, if I had to choose one of them, one of them to use all the time. It would probably be the PGY Tech. I feel the most comfortable with it. Um, but like I said, I haven't had any problems with any of them at all. The one that I feel least comfortable with is the Joby, um, especially riding over stuff. Like I said, um, you know, you're driving and you've got bumps. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not made for that. If you're sticking on a window just, you know, and it's, it's not moving, then that's fine. But if stuff's moving, you know, yeah. Anyway, I hope you like that. If you have any questions at all about any of these suction mounts, which I believe are the best suction mounts possible, definitely for your um, GoPro 9 or your GoPro cameras, this should be able to handle a mirrorless. Uh, make sure you strap this stuff down, by the way. So strap it around your boot and make sure it's all nice and safe. Um, if you've done that, you shouldn't have any worries at all. Yeah, like I said, comments below. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. If you like my film and it helps you, give it a like. It's really going to help me out. And um, yeah, I'm going to catch you on the next one.